Welcome Leo, so this is the Taurus season and I want to say thank you for being here, thank you for being back. The Taurus season begins from April 20th until May 20th. Remember to choose um, the crystal that uh, connects with you because that is the way how you're going to be resolving whatever is coming up in this period. So... This Taurus season is very powerful because this is the energy of the um, the second house, okay? Um, so we have 12 houses uh, and in these 12 houses, this is where we recognize uh, um, what is happening and transpiring in all of these houses. Uh, and these houses, uh, um, um, you, each and every person are connected to the 12 house. The 12 houses are connected to each and every person. Um, in our birth sign, we have different, different uh, um, houses that comes up. And especially in this timeline of the Taurus term, um, area, the Taurus um, timeline, it has to do with the house of the second house. And that is your financial instability. So whatever is happening and transpiring, I see... A lot of you, Leos, are going to be having some sort of a problem with sales. Um, and uh, I see some of you have turned down some sort of an offer that you have received. And I see a whole lot of news and information came out about a project or a business that some of you, Aries, said that is yours and they're recognizing it is not yours. <coughs> it could be a whole lot of information that is coming out concerning you Aries and a project that they recognize that this project is not yours or you didn't work on this project and the information it is not yours so whatever is happening and transpiring I see it could be some of you try to get some sort of an offer on some sort of a book or some sort of a communication and then they recognize that this book and communication is somewhere else. Um, some of you could be um, um, copy someone else's uh, information and try to pull it off and now they are recognizing that the information and the data on some sort of a documents that you um, Leos have is not yours. So we see the energy in the first week. The first week is April 28th till April 26th. And the moon is in Cancer. Whatever is happening and transpiring, we have the energy of the moon in Cancer. With the energy of the moon in Cancer, some sort of a secret is coming out. So remember, the moon is about illusion and it's about secrecy, okay? It's about secrecy that was held between... Um, some of you and a cancer. It is about secrecy um, that uh, um, you hold. And now it is time. It's as if some of you leads to get up with a cancer and hold some sort of a secrecy. And if you recognize uh, um, the secret is going to be revealed. Okay. And it's about the fortune. It's about... Uh, um, you and fortune and I see uncertainty is coming up for you Leos um, with your fortune because it's as if people are recognizing um, that uh, um, you and a cancer have created a fortune for yourself but this fortune was created through um, taken, for, um, taken from other people and was not uh, um, created on honesty Okay, so there is serious, serious issues that could be coming up. Maybe this this cancer is your partner or maybe this cancer and yourself have been collaborating. And uh, um, maybe this cancer is a sister, family member, relative. They're going to be now recognizing something about this cancer, whoever this cancer is. And I see uncertainty um, for this cancer. Now, if this is your partner or a sister or a family member, they're going to be recognizing that you, Leo's together with this cancer, have collaborated and did something. And now 
this cancer is recognizing and I see some of you Leos are like good for you as as if uh, some of you Leos recognize that a cancer was playing you big time and uh, now you recognize uh, that uh, a cancer is in some sort of a situation and that's how you recognize that this cancer was basically playing you. So a lot of you, Leos, is going to be coming to a point where you're understanding Jesus. Uh, I have been, um, you know, good to this person, but at the same time, this person has been playing me for such a long time. So I see uncertainties, a whole lot of uncertainties is here. And this is very emotional, uncertainty over your next move or uncertainty um, as to what direction you're going in, uncertainty emotionally you're uncertain about your financial stability and a lot of you leos are now recognizing that uh, i can't uh, have dragged you down the wrong rabbit hole okay whoever this cancer is whatever that is transpiring you recognize that a cancer has a uh, rub butter on your lips and now got you in a wrong position because you there is no uncertainty for you and your financial status anymore because the um a cancer have you use you and involve you in some sort of an unconventional situation and now there is uncertainty um for you but also for this cancer and i see some of you are recognizing you know it is good but it happened um to this cancer because this cancer have given me um information that was not correct and this cancer have brought me in a situation and now I have to pay um with my life with the situation and with all the people around me so I see a lot of you are recognizing Jesus you know yeah um whatever is transpiring you know this cancer need to figure out whatever they have done because this is unfair to me but it's also unfair to the people around me, okay? Then I see news is going to be coming in in the second week, um, the week of uh, um, uh, the 27th of April to the 3rd of May. Some sort of a news is going to be coming in. And this news, we have the energy of the Eight of Wands in the reverse. The energy of the Eight of Wands is communication in Sagittarian. And what is transpiring is that if your mother is a Sagittarian, you Leo could um, receive some sort of a news. So if your mother or your father is a Sagittarian, you will receive some news that your mother or your father is not well. So um, there is um, a, some sort of an issue that is going on between you Leos and a Sagittarian with some sort of a document. Um, the Eight of Wands is always about documents. And they're going to be recognizing that a Sagittarian was the one who give you, Leo, some sort of a document and they're going to be ending this, okay? I see an end is also coming up for some of you, Leo um, businessmen, um, Leo businessmen and women, especially people in business, some sort of an end is going to be coming up. They're going to be recognizing that some sort of a documentation and data is not uh, for you Leos or um, they're going to be recognizing that some sort of a documentation that you Leos have um, is not for you and somehow um, an older Sagittarian person gave you Leos uh, this information and this documentation. Um, they're going to be recognizing that you Leo man have stolen a lot of money and they're going to be bringing it to an end. And I see that some of you, Leo man, is pretending to be sick, but they recognize, because there's a lot of uncertainty for Leo businessmen, whatever has transpired, not all of you, some of you, uh, some of you are going to be finding out uh, um, that uh, getting message that uh, a family relative, uh, um, this is an older person, um, 70 and older, has passed away. So whatever that was happening and transpiring, there is just some serious, serious um, interval that is going to be affecting um, you Leos in the Taurus season where 
it's about uncertainty about your financial situation it's about uncertainty where information and data came up uh, and they're recognizing that you leos uh, have information and data that is not based uh, on who you are and what is transpiring and they're going to be now recognizing uh, what has happened and how you leos have had uh, data and information that was not yours so there are serious um consequences when it comes on um to some sort of a data and uh, they're going to be recognizing that the data is for a older person um and some of you if your father or mother or grandfather grandfather or grandmother is a um sagittarian they're going to be um you will receive some sort of a message that this person is sick and there's some sort of an uncertainty whether or not this person will be better. Now, I don't like to say this, but there is a situation where some of you, Leo, are going to be finding out that a family member could be passing away. A lot of you, Leos, um, have gotten documentation um from a virgo and they're going to be recognizing that the 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 data that you have um some of you leos was working and using someone else's data and information and they're going to be recognizing that the data you have um whether this is a work permit travel documents it's not yours it is under another name and people are going to be recognized this. So you Leos, um, be aware of this uh, for the Leos that is uh, working on the someone else's name or someone else's identity. Um, they're going to be recognizing this. They're also going to be finding out that some of you Leo men had business document and data of someone else and it is not yours. They're going to be recognizing that some of you Leos together with a Sagittarian and a Virgo had, um, work together in order to accumulate a whole lot of data and documentation um that you should not have had and they're going to be recognizing this all right let's move to the third week the third week is may 4th until may 10th and we have the energy of the seven of pentacles in taurus so i see um this has been coming up for another leo that you could be fired from your works. So Saturn in Taurus is about um, discipline. Uh, the boss, a boss, is uh, bringing back a whole lot of discipline in a corporation institution, and some of you leaders could be fired. So it is about Saturn in Taurus. Okay, Saturn in Taurus is uh, about changes. So where. Um, your boss, people in higher authority and your boss is bringing back discipline in the corporation that went off, uh, off the rail. Let's say like that. This, this corporation went off the rail where, um, some sort of, uh, um, disturbedness where the process was broken, the house rules were broken. Um, you know, people were doing things and getting away with things. And I see that a lot of you, um, your boss is going to be um, calling on you. Yes, so young Leah women, your boss um, is going to be calling up on you. Some of you young Leah women, yeah, could be fired. Young Leah women um, um, is going to be fired, okay? The end, because of false documentation and data. So whatever that was happening and transpiring, young Leo women could be caught up in some sort of a false documentation and data. They're going to be recognizing um, that the Sagittarian was the one, a Sagittarian in another country, another city, is the one that gave you um, some sort of a data and information, data, documentation um, to go and, and get in and uh, a country in another country or get some sort of a work in an international corporation but it has to do with travel documents and staying 
and it has to do with, with an international company. And this international company is going to be firing you young um, uh, Leos because they find out that your documentation is not yours or you're using someone else's documentation and information. So there are a serious, serious offensive uh, uh, offense uh, for a lot of you working business women because I see an end, an end, um, the en energy of uh, the, the casket, an end, uh, an end to money coming into your business, uh, an end uh, um, to some sort of a work in an international corporation because they recognize uh, um, that it is not uh, your data and information. So, this is a situation where a lot of you business women could have used or could have given um false information over a business uh, and they're going to be recognizing that so i see some sort of an end is coming up so a lot of you could have uh, gotten some sort of a false cv with someone else's detail and information and you're working in this company and they're recognizing what is on your CV and the performance and your expertise is not uh, what you're carrying out. And I see this international corporation is going to be firing um, you, Leos. OK, so Leo Young Women is going to be affecting you, Leo Young Women between the age of 25 and 49 that who works and get a job in an international corporation, they're going to be recognizing that your CV or your curriculum vitter is neat, is not yours. Um, and the information and the data that is on it is not yours. You are working beneath the level of this. And I see an international corporation is going to be firing you young ladies. Then as we look at uh, um, the last week, the last week is a, a situation um, is a situation where a lot of you are going to be overcoming and receiving some sort of a contract okay and what i see is that a lot of you there is going to be some sort of a sadness with a contract a travel document and some sort of a contract and some sort of a changes that is going to be coming in so it is a plain cut because there is some sort of a uncertainty um, that is going to be coming up um, for you guys. So there is definitely some sort of uncertainty um, that is happening. And I see that the, the uncertainty is about a Taurus woman in another city or another place could be fired because they recognize what the Taurus woman have done. So whoever the Taurus woman that is, works in another city or another place over water, I see sadness for the Taurus woman um, and sadness for a Cancer and a Gemini and some sort of a contract because they have recognized some sort of a foul play that has transpired and taken place. So, so um, it is a sense of uh, uncertainty um, for the Taurus period. I wish I had better news. Um, but for people who are, who have nothing to do with a Sagittarian, because I see sadness for a Sagittarian in another country, they recognize what the Sagittarian have done. I see changes for the Sagittarian contract in another country, um, because they, they have recognized that a Sagittarian have created some sort of a false contract in another place and in another country in order to facilitate uh, you Leos uh, getting some sort of a promotion in an international company. The Sagittarian could be a, um, a lawyer or a headhunter that has facilitated you Leos with data and information of someone else and got you 
Leo's um, under someone else's contract or information um, in order to facilitate uh, um, you being in another country. And I see that whoever the Sagittarian is has been um, facilitating and creating, um, you know, contracts and information um, for you, Leos, for a very long time. And has been, it's not only for you, Leos, they have been creating work permit and documentation for people all over the world. And I see this information is going to be coming out that does head hunter or whoever that works in government institutes or organization has been falsifying data and information and has been selling it to people and giving people, um, other people information and data in order to live in other places and and get into international companies and i see sadness for the sagittarian whoever the sagittarian is there's a whole lot of sadness sadness for a cancer and a gemini some sort of a changes is coming up for a cancer and a gemini so some of you whoever the cancer and gemini is could have been family members or that sort of a thing but i see a whole lot of you that expect some sort of a contract or in um the the week of May eleventh until May twentieth for you Leos, some of you are not going to get, especially young people. People older will receive this new contract, but young people between twenty five and forty nine might not receive uh, this contract. I see a whole lot of sadness and a whole lot of changes um for you young ladies because it's as if you young ladies wanted to get back in another country. Um, but you know, you gotta face the truth that it's not your data and it's not your information. It's not your business. Okay. And whatever that, uh, um, you have gotten from a Sagittarian, a Sagittarian have created a huge mess for you. And the Sagittarian is now saddened because their contract is not going to be extended because they've recognized what the Sagittarian has done. They recognize that the Sagittarian have created a huge, huge mess. So, and has been falsifying data and information and you Leos got caught up in it. And you know, my thing is that uh, Leos, uh, it is hard to face, uh, but you know that this information is not yours. You are putting, the person isn't dead. It's not to say that the person is dead so you can use their information. The person is a living person and you are using this person information. The person is going through a lot of stress. Uh, a lot of stress because they know, you know, you can't just take over someone's identity. What is wrong with you? I mean, the Sagittarian woman has been pushing you um, in this thing. But there's a moment when you recognize it's not yours. You know, the person isn't dead. The person is still alive. You are using a live person data and information. You are seeing... Um, you, rec you really need to recognize what is happening and transpiring, Leos. And, I, you know, you Leo women are hit by the situation, but you have led a Sagittarian in another city, in another country, has pushed you too far. You should have said, no, I don't want it. It doesn't really matter. Wait and use your own name and not some alive person identity. This is creating a whole lot of issue and a whole lot of chaos and health issues with other people. You know, this is a really sad thing. And I think that they should find the Sagittarian. The Sagittarian should never, ever um, work with people and uh, um, their data and information anymore because the Sagittarian has gone too far. And with the heart, the, the Sagittarian have a lot of hate in their heart. And it's a sick thing. And, um, you know, you Leos get caught up in this. And it is what it is. But um, at the end of the day, Leos, you got to recognize that... Uh, um, you gotta let go of the situation because it is only hurting you instead of being better. Um, it's, it's sad, Leos. And, you know, you Leos have been always receiving such positive, positive news. And I think this is like a seven years of, uh, um, a seven years of karma that a lot of you Leos are going through. And I can't wait until you get through this because you Leos, you are like the son of my reading. Um, and now there is just so many issues, so many situations. So I see sadness and changes for a lot of you, Leo, um, that was waiting on some sort of a travel documents or, um, 
um, work permit because they're going to be recognized that the data is not yours. I gotta go. Um, please show your love by thumbs up. Namaste until next time.